Alright, in this video we're going to talk about finding equations of tangent lines and finding equations of tangent lines is uh, something they like to ask a lot in calculus after you've started talking about derivatives. So to find the equation of the tangent line, the only thing you really need to know, you need to recall point-slope formula. So this is an equation of a line with slope m that goes through the point y1 and x1, so x1, y1. And to get the slope um, to plug into the formula, that's what the derivative does. You just simply take the derivative, plug in the x-coordinate that you're interested in finding the slope at, and that's going to give you um, your slope, and then you'll have your your line, your the equation of the line. So suppose when we find the equation of the tangent line at the point 2, 4 on the graph of y equals x squared. Well, already I know this point, so it's going to be y minus 4, and I've got to figure out the slope, but again, the x-coordinate that I'm doing this at is at 2. Well, to figure out the slope of the tangent line, again, I can write my function as f of x. If I take the derivative of that, f prime of x, the derivative of x squared is going to be 2x. So the derivative evaluated at this point, this x-coordinate of 2 is simply going to give me 2 times 2 or a slope of 4 and that's what I'm just going to simply plug, plug right back into my equation. So it says the equation of the tangent line is going to be y equals so if I plug 4 in I'll get 4x 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 I'll add the 4 from the less, left side over and get positive 4 and I'll get the line 4x minus 4 being my tangent line. And if you think about this, this seems reasonable. If you think about the graph of y equals x squared, it's just a parabola. So maybe here's the point 2 comma 4, not quite to scale, but um, this thing could definitely have a tangent line with a slope of positive 4. Okay, so that's really the only tricky part of these problems is simply just taking the derivative in the first place. So let's do some more complicated ones of this. So again, in all these we're going to find the equation of the tangent line. Um, suppose we want to find the equation of the tangent line that lies on the graph of 2x over x plus 1, and we want to do this at the point 1 comma 1. Well, again, in this one, we know the point it goes through. The only thing we really have to work to find is the slope of the tangent line. So to figure out the slope of the tangent line, since I have a fraction, I'll use the quotient rule. So it says you write the bottom thing, and then you multiply that by the derivative of the top. You put a minus sign in there. It says you leave the top part alone, and then you take the derivative of the bottom part. And this all goes over the bottom part squared. So I'm going to simplify this down. It looks like if you distribute, you'll get a 2x plus 2 on top, minus 2x, all over x plus 1 quantity squared. So my 2x's are going to cancel out, and I'll simply have 2 over x plus 1 squared. And again, in this case, to figure out the slope of the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line comes from the x-coordinate of 1, so I'll simply plug 1 into my derivative, and it says I'm going to get 2 over, well, in this case, 1 plus 1 squared. That's going to give me 2 over 2 squared, which is going to give me 1 half. So it says the equation of my tangent line, again, is going to be y minus the y-coordinate, which was 1, and that's going to equal the slope of the tangent line, which we found from taking the derivative, and then x minus the x-coordinate that was given, and there is the equation of my tangent line. And unless it really specifies and says put it in slope-intercept form, I'll just leave it like this, unless there's a good reason not to. Um, I mean, there's the equation of a tangent line. Let's 
Let's maybe do uh, at least one or two more here. Suppose I have the function y equals 1 plus 2x quantity squared and we want to find the equation of the tangent line at the point 1 comma 9. Alright, well in this case, I, again, I'm going to have to take my derivative. Again, we could call y, that's the same thing as f of x. Um, so I'll rewrite f prime of x, and in this case we're going to have to use the chain rule. So the 2 will come out front, we'll leave the inside stuff alone, we'll take 1 away from the power, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside stuff, the derivative of the inside, the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of positive 2x is just positive 2. We'll multiply 2 and 2 and get 4, and then have 1 plus 2x left over. So again, we're interested in finding the slope of the tangent line at the x-coordinate of 1. So we'll plug 1 in, and it says you'll get 4 times 1 plus, well, 2 times 1. So that's 4 times, it looks like the inside, you get 1 plus 2, which is 3, and all of that simply is going to work out to 12. So again, the equation of your tangent line, you'll have y minus the y-coordinate equals the slope, x minus the x-coordinate. Again, the y-coordinate we were given is this value of 9. We found the slope of the tangent line being 12. The x-coordinate was 1. So there's the equation of your tangent line. Maybe let's do uh, one last one here. Suppose we want to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph y equals tangent of x at the x-coordinate of pi over 4. So here they don't give us the y-coordinate, but it's easy enough. We'll, we can figure out the y-coordinate by simply plugging pi over 4 into the graph. So f of pi over 4, that's going to be tangent of pi over 4 and tangent of pi over 4 turns out to be 1. So the point that we're using is going to be pi over 4, comma, 1. And again, now to find the slope of the tangent line, I'll simply take the derivative of my function. The derivative of tangent x is secant squared of x. So I'm going to have to evaluate secant squared at this value pi over 4. So pi over 4. And let's see, so, so I've got secant squared of pi over 4. And remember we can rewrite secant squared as 1 over cosine squared of pi over 4. Well, cosine of pi over 4 is the value square root of 2 over 2, but again that's all being squared here. So that's going to give us 1 over 2 over 4. So if I flip and multiply, I'll get 4 over 2, or 2 as the slope of my tangent line. So to put it all together again, it says I'll take y minus the y-coordinate, that'll equal the slope of the tangent line, times x minus the x-coordinate. Well, again, the y-coordinate we found was positive 1. The slope of the tangent line we found was positive 2 and the x-coordinate we said is this value, pi over 4. And again, there would be the equation of your tangent line in this case. So, some basic examples. Um, really all it comes down to is simply taking derivatives. If you also need to see um, finding equations of tangent lines, if your function is defined implicitly, that's when you have x's and y's all mixed up, Feel free to take a look at my website. I have some problems where you do implicit differentiation and uh, you also find equations of tangent lines for an implicitly defined function. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'll be happy to get to them.